Hey guys, it's your girl, Marcy, the future OT. So we're back again with another video. Um, if you guys noticed the environment change, I actually moved into a new house um, maybe like two weeks ago. So I'm trying to play with the setup. Most likely I'll figure something out later on, but we are coming to a new video today. And what we're going to talk about is, I know in the last video I talked about how my last semester went and I mentioned that I would talk about how my first field work experience or volunteer experience went for my first week. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So for the way the program is set up, my first week of field work was just like a glimpse of what would be going on later in my last semester and basically like the school went out to seek different facilities and I'm not going to name the facility um, or where it was located but I did a specific facility and it was um, I believe it was a skilled nursing facility was it us it was it was more so like a skilled nursing facility and it was adults like young adults to older adults and it focused on tbis uh, traumatic brain injuries um strokes so cvas um those were the more common ones that i would see um parkinson's disease more a little bit of long term but there were a bunch of short term patients as well so i was really excited for this facility because it was like one of my top choices that i wanted to you know experience and bring to you know a little bit more knowledge to myself and others so the field work experience started about a week after my spring break so technically we had two weeks off of school in march so we had spring break like the first week of March and then we started our field work experience the second week of March. So for people that may not know what a field work experience is, it's basically considered a full-time job but without getting paid. So you're working with fellow occupational therapists to guide you, to they'll show you how to work with patients. You're basically learning of what you do when you pass your boards outside in the field. So my first day, I was really, really, really nervous, but I was also excited. Um, so I went in, um, I met my fellow fieldwork advisor or like the person that was in charge of me and or also known as CI. And at first I was a little like overwhelmed because I didn't know how the day would go, but you know, I just pushed on through. The one thing I did notice when I stepped into the facility was that there were not a lot of people that were of other ethnic backgrounds. Um, as far as African American, I think I've only seen one other person and she was, I think the secretary, she was applying for OT school and everybody else was just Caucasian, which wasn't a problem, but I mean, I did see two Asians, but it definitely was like a diversity problem. I mean, I shouldn't be, you know, surprised by it. But in the moment, I was just like, wow, this is what it's going to be like when I finish. So really amped up, really excited. Um, I got there really early, maybe like 30 minutes early because I had to be there by 8 o'clock. I got there at 730. I was really close, about 20, 30 minutes away. So I mean, I'm a punctual person, so I get anxiety when I feel like I'm going to be late places, so I make sure I'm there extra early. And the first day, I felt like I was okay. If anyone who knows me knows at first that I am more of an observer when I first get into new environments. I don't really ask a lot of questions at first because I'm trying to take everything in, and then once I take everything in, that's when I start diving into answering questions. So... I kind of knew in the beginning that my CI and I weren't a fit match because even though she like asked me a bunch of questions, um, I answered them. I feel like they weren't to her full potential because of like 
her facial expressions and etc etc I feel like I didn't engage with her the way that I wanted to engage and like some things some questions I asked I know people say oh any question is not a stupid question but she literally made me feel like I like it was a stupid question like and it's crazy because she was a little bit older than me like in her 30s and honestly within that week i've never known so much about a person based on her conversations with other people instead of her conversations with me like i basically knew all about her life another thing that i didn't like about like the way th the interaction with patients is i felt like they were always on their laptops rolling around and before talking to the patient i feel like they weren't really engaged with the patient before the sessions even started like in the beginning and then towards the end I understand that you have to document, but it's just awkward when the patient is just sitting there waiting for them to tell you what's going on or what today's exercises will be or what we're going to be working on and stuff like that. So that was kind of like a flag to me. It was like, okay, I thought this like in school, they're all like, oh, this should be client based. This should be all based around the client, your interactions with them. And I'm just like, you guys are literally rolling around with laptop and desk and trying to make sure you write everything down and I understand documentation documentation is important but you know still so excuse me I didn't have a problem seeing patients like I enjoyed it um I did end up doing manual blood pressure I wait let me my turn is on hold on let me back check a little bit so in the beginning she asked me you know um to do blood pressure and etc cetera, etc cetera. and i had done blood pressure since a whole year before like actually on people in kinesiology in lab with other students so i was kind of nervous about it but i told her like i was a little hesitant but if i tried on her first it won't be a problem so one patient that we had she like jumps right in is like oh you're gonna be doing blood pressure and i was like uh you know i'm kind of nervous about it and you could tell she was like a little annoyed with me not jumping right into it i'm like oh like i just need a little bit of practice like as you mentioned before but she just kept on telling me and telling me every time we had a patient so i just did it but you can just tell she was like a little annoyed with me because she was like oh like you you seem to be a little apprehensive to trying it and I told her I was like well I did mention to you that I wanted to try it on you before because I haven't done manual blood pressure in a really long time and it's kind of nerve-wracking so that was one of the things and when I did ask her questions she said that she was a little annoyed by the way I asked them so basically like it was kind of like awkward um the end of the week because I felt like in the middle of the week remind you field work was only a week in the middle of the week she like talked to me and the way she talked to me i was kind of like flabbergasted because she didn't talk to me in private well she kind of did talk to me in private but it was in an open room where everybody can hear a conversation even though it's early in the morning before we started seeing patients it was kind of like you could have brought me in any other location of the facility and talked in private in an office but you decided to try and put me on blast so basically she told me that she didn't like the way I asked questions and she wants me to interact more with the patients and I'm not taking the initiative to basically do the blood pressure like I'm supposed to this down a third. So I'm like, okay, well, I apologize for the inconvenience and how you feel. But at the same time, we did have a conversation about me you know, practicing with manual blood pressure and a lot of things you have asked me, I haven't even studied yet in classes. Like I'm just learning them this semester, so I'm trying to catch up and stuff like that. And I mean, she had her opinion, I had my opinion. I know I kept it simple, but I was really hurt by the situation. Literally right after we had the conversation, I kind of just went in the bathroom and turned on the faucets and cried my eyes out. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna fail this. Remind you, this was like, I think, five percent of our grade and I was like I just knew like I had a feeling I'm like she's gonna fail me because literally the whole week she was just on my case like every time I would say something she would just give like a smart remark or you can just tell that she wasn't really feeling me I don't know if it was because of the, because of you know not one not us not matching up to be 
you know, the greatest match, but it was really awkward for me. Like at a certain point, it was so awkward for me and I didn't feel like I w was wanted. Be I just started eating lunch in my car. Like it came to a point where I just didn't want to be there. I just did what I was supposed to do. And then I would just go home, say hi, say bye. But it just didn't really feel like I was wanted or like she was eager to show me things. Like she would pass me off to other colleagues and stuff which I understood but it was kind of like you're supposed to be showing me so that experience is really detrimental to me because on Friday I got like my I guess review back of how I did during the week and she tore me into shreds I never felt so awful in my life like I feel like she was just judging me off of my character of what she saw within the past four days remind you she only took gave me feedback in the middle of the week so it's like you're only judging me on thursday and friday which you said i did okay you said i improved and stuff but you literally just tore me into shreds and i know she tore me into shreds because nobody's gonna take the time to write paragraphs about you like it was literally boxes that you check off and you decide to write your comments about me and i really hurt my feelings because one it was a part of my greed but two guys i'm not gonna lie that really brought me down as a person and just wanting to go during the path of becoming an occupational therapist because those comments like really hurt me it really hurt my feelings i felt like i wasn't adequate to become an occupational therapist so i did end up writing a follow-up email to my field work coordinator at school and i spoke to my teacher about it and i mean they understood but at the same time you know how word gets around like professors talk to each other and stuff like that so i mean it is what it is but i know definitely for the next time when i have a field work opportunity i'm definitely gonna be up front with that person and just be like listen like i'm an observer at the beginning because some people don't like that some people find it you know very they might interpret it the wrong way and honestly people everybody knows that i have a bitch resting face like that's just how i am but i'm honestly the nicest and respectful person just because i may not look like the happiest person doesn't mean like i mean or you're gonna perceive me the wrong way so i feel like for the field work person that i work with at my internship she completely perceived me as a different person because if you read those comments for my professors that has known me for the past three years they just are like where did this come from like they didn't even believe half of the things that she said so i felt she was very manipulative and she waited till last minute to tell me about the conversation and then when she realized that i didn't have anything to say about it or give feedback it was like she wanted me to argue with her she wanted me to go back and forth with her about her reasoning and that at that point i'm not doing that like i'm not about to argue with you or what you think about me you said what you said and that's that so some advice that i would give to other people that are doing field work is um always be on time like always be punctual just you know worry about your body language like for me the fault that i can take is my body language was not that great like i would slouch a little bit when i was bored my attention span would be somewhere else but it was pretty it was really difficult because there was so much going on there was physical therapists there was speech therapists all around like doing everything at once and then my mind would be like roaming all over the place so that was really hard that's something I have to work on. And then another thing I have to work on is just being up front with the person the first day. Just let them know what type of person I am. Do that. And then just continue to be myself or ask them, is there anything that I want to improve in for the next day? So I hope those little things help you guys. Um, For my next video, I'm going to, I know someone commented and said that they wanted to know the study habits of how I study during the semester and the semester is starting in almost a month and a half it's crazy because I'm not ready to go back but I just want to share with you guys so if you guys can give me a thumbs up you can share the video like and subscribe follow my Instagram Marcy the future OT M-A-R-C-I-E-E -E, the OT and I'll add that in the video as well so see you guys in my next video Bye.